Hi again guys, it's another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today. This time it's for a pretty iconic muscle car, the Plymouth Roadrunner Superbird. So you want your racing soft tyres as always. As far as the suspension, I've got the ride height set as low as possible. That's mainly for the looks, so you don't have to do that. Uh, for the springs, we've increased them to 5 on the front, 550 on the back. Dampers to 4 on compression and on extension 5 just to stiffen up the ride and anti-roll as high as possible to stop it from wallowing about camber we've got slightly higher than usual on 2 and neutral toe as always for the gearbox you want to put your auto setting as high as possible I think yeah as high as possible and I've put uh, first gear on 2600 second so yeah second all the way to the left third on one then 750 and then 500 with a final drive of 3.5 uh, for the diff low initial torque as always to reduce wheel spin high acceleration and low braking you want all the power upgrades obviously and I would recommend NOS um, and you definitely want weight loss with this car because it's extremely heavy traction control you definitely want turned off because it is a lot quicker and yeah so uh, of the muscle cars on the game, the Superbird is one of the quicker ones for top speed, which probably isn't too surprising considering that it was designed along with the uh, Dodge Charger Daytona to compete in the Daytona uh, Oval Race, among other things, but it's well known for being in the Daytona Oval. Um, running at speeds of like 200 miles per hour constantly for however many laps. So it's not too surprising that of the muscle cars on the game, it does have a very good top speed. Personally, I don't use this car all that much, but that's not because it's not good. It's because I just don't really like the look of this car so much compared to some of the other muscle cars. I just find the huge rear wing and the extended nose to be a bit too much for me. You know, I, I just It's a bit chabby, to be honest. I mean, it's there for a purpose. But I just don't really like it. I prefer a smooth, clean looking muscle car. Um, but yeah, it is, like I said, a very quick car. It has a cruising speed of 252, which is higher than most of the muscle cars. Um, with slip, I'm not sure, because I haven't used it in a race. But I should think 280 easily, maybe even 290, likewise with NOS. So yeah, it's, it's a great top speed car as far as muscle cars go. One of the quickest classics in the game. And yeah, well worth buying. So, hope this tune setup helps. And as always, thanks for watching. 